by Ben Leonard last updated six hours ago after six straight losses, Duke finally rebounded and picked up its fifth win of the season, a 4,320 romping of Georgia Tech on senior day. With the victory, the Blue Devils now have a chance to make a bowl game even if they lose next week against Wake Forest. The Blue Zone hands out grades to every Duke unit offense a pass quarterback Daniel Jones had his best outing in a long time, completing 69.2% of his passes for 177 yards and two two-counts. His completion percentage was the best of the season against FBS competition, and while he wasn't very explosive, he helped provide the balance that Duke's offense had been lacking in its six-game skid. Rush led by Britton Brown's 14 carries for 116 yards, the Blue Devils exploded for 319 yards on the ground against the Yellow Jackets. Jones also got in on the action as Duke's second-leading rusher with 91 yards, including a late 32-yard score. The Blue Devils hadn't done better than 2.9 yards per carry since November 14 against Florida State, and had a coming-out party averaging a whopping 6.3 yards per carry. X's and O's offensive coordinator Zach Roper began to lean on his power-running attack, something that he had gotten away from during Duke's six-game skid, pounding the rock 51 times. In each of the Blue Devils' four wins, they carried the ball at least 45 times, but had carried the ball an average of 33 times per game in their last five games. He also got creative, with Sean Wilson throwing for a short jump to count to give Duke a 2,720 lead it never looked back from. The offense still struggled to finish drives for two counts in the red zone, but it was certainly a major step forward. Defense B passed the Blue Devils did well to hold quarterback Taquin Marshall to just 3 of 13 passing, despite giving up a few inevitable explosive plays against Georgia Tech's triply option offense. Ricky Jean had a 45-yard catch and Quay Cersei had a 35-yard two-count grab, but other than that, to clock down Marshall and the Yellow Jackets' passing attack, Rush the Blue Devils gave up a lot of explosive plays on the ground in the early going, they gave up three plays of 22 yards or more in the first half. But they tightened it up in the second half, giving up just one and allowing Georgia Tech to get just one first down. Against one of the most productive rushing offenses in the country, Duke's rush defense did well enough to keep its offense in the game despite allowing 277 yards on 5.9 yards per carry, X's and O's against the second triply option team in a row, the Blue Devils were up to the task despite giving up two offensive two counts on their first two drives. They appeared well prepared to stop Marshall and the Yellow Jackets and kept the offense in the game as they have done all season long. Special teams B. Austin Parker was perfect on three short field goals, but made just three of four extra point attempts. He punted just once for 45 yards. On the flip side, Duke's return game was mediocre. T.J. Roming returned just two punts for negative two yards and the kick return unit averaged just 20.7 yards per return. But the Blue Devils did do well to slow Georgia Tech's kick return unit, it averaged just 17.1 yards on 7 return. Please note all comments are eligible for publication in the Chronicle.